Hi Aries, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads in this reading. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual in the second spread, we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with someone else in the second spread, we'll see new love coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Lovers. <laughs> we have the Three of Wands clarified by the Ace of Swords. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands clarified by the Knight of Cups. And we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, perhaps even a fellow Fire Sign. Um, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this may sound a little cheesy, but I think this person thinks of you as a wish come true. <laughs> Everything they ever wished for. Right? Uh, the, and here's why I think so. The magician on the bottom of the deck could be interpreted as a card of manifestation, like wishing for something, manifesting something. And the very first card I come out is the Nine of Cups, which is a card of a wish come true. Alright, so manifesting and uh, receiving, <laughs> okay? Um, but uh, yeah, jokes aside, it could be exactly what's happening here. The Magician could be a Gemini or Virgo, you're dealing with the Magician is a card of manifestation, it's also a card of taking action. The Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're using those tools. Um, yeah, so do expect them to make a move very, very soon. I, I would be actually a little surprised if they haven't made a move by now. If they haven't, it's like right there around the corner, right? And uh, the, those tools that the magicians got at their disposal could be translated into multiple things this person is getting ready to do for you, right? They're going to take you out, they're going to give you stuff, they will do this, they'll do that. You know, th it's a card of taking action, right? So do expect action from them. The Nine of Cups, the first card I came out, like I said, it is a card of a wish come true. Um, it's also a card of like some kind of an event, Right? Because in some tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people are standing around celebrating. In some other tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people sitting around the table enjoying a meal. <laughs> okay? So we just had Thanksgiving here in the United States. Perhaps this is how the two of you got acquainted, or uh, this is when they made their move, or perhaps they're looking forward to some kind of an other event that's coming up. And that's where they want to take you, or that's where they want to start a conversation with you. Something among those lines, right? The lovers clarify in the Nine of Cups. I clarified every single card that came out. I was hoping to see some court cards, and I was wondering what that three of ones means. But we'll get to that in just a second. So the lovers could be a card of a choice, right? But I don't really see this person choosing between you and this and somebody else. It could be you who is choosing between two people. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't have to be a choice. You know, the lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. The lovers could be the love of your life. Perhaps that's the way this person sees you already now. Right? They could be just sitting there and like, oh my god, finally my wish for the love of my life is being granted to me. You know, it could be that. <laughs> Right there in the middle, we do have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. And uh, if you're choosing between two people, perhaps you're going to choose this person. But this, if this Three of Wands comes from them, yeah, they see you as the, their future, right? The Ace of Swords, clarifying it, is the word yes. It's a card of clarity. So this person is crystal clear about what you mean to them. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation that they're about to have with you. Perhaps you do have a confession coming your way. All right. Uh, the, Ace of, well, the Ace of Swords is a card of a new beginning, right? And uh, nobody is fooling or playing around with that Ace of Swords. People are usually very straightforward, very upfront, very direct. And uh, here comes the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Wands could belong to you. You know, it could, unless you're dealing with another fire sign, but your fire sign, the Ace of Wands, could be your Ace. So perhaps we do have one Ace per person. Since you're watching this, that means you're uh, at least have a crush on them. <laughs> you're really, really interested in them, and that's why you're kind of wondering how they feel about you. Right? That's the point of this uh, series, the Loves Me, Loves Me Not series. Um, the Ace of Wands is another Ace, a passionate new beginning, right? Uh, a new beginning period. The Knight of Cups clarifying it. Uh, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, your gentleman, but the Knight of Cups is the most loving, the most uh, romantic knight out of all four nights. So definitely 
Um, the, to answer the question, do they have feelings for you? Yes, they do. Do they want to move forward with you? Yes, they do. Are they in love with you? They could be. They could be. Yeah, with the lovers, the nine of cups, the magician, they could be. <laughs> Alright, so do expect them to make a move any second now. Alright, so yeah, um, let's take a look at the potential uh, between you and this person real quick. Alright, so here's the potential between you, uh, Aries, and the person we saw in the first part. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Sun. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by Justice. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. My, oh my. My, oh my. We do have uh, Leo, um, Libra, and Taurus on the table, but I, I don't think Zodiac signs really matter at this point. It's possible that uh, your person is the Zodiac sign I just named. <laughs> but uh, what I can tell you right here, right now is that there's going to be a shift in a very positive, serious, grounded direction. I saw a lot of excitement in the first spread. A lot of excitement. All those aces, the ace of swords and the ace of wands. We do have another ace here, the ace of pentacles. This is like the progression. This is when things get mature. And I'm not calling this connection immature in the beginning, but it kind of reminds me of government bonds. You know, the ones you buy and they mature over time. This is when things get serious, this is when things get grounded, but at the same time it's still going to be very loving and happy. Right? So we do start with the, with the Two of Cups clarified by the Sun. Uh, remember the Lover's card in the first spread? The Two of Cups, in my opinion, is, the, is very close to the Lover's when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's also a soulmate card, it's also a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, feel the same way towards one another. The Sun clarifying it is a card of clarity. Just like the Ace of Swords in the first spread. And besides that, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's a major kind of card, so it's unavoidable. <laughs> You're going to be happy whether you want it or not. But jokes aside, yeah, with the Sun card, we always feel on top of the world. So here, come that, here comes that Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. But the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. The Ace of Pentacles is a card of somebody who wants to get serious, somebody who is ready for a commitment, somebody who is ready to get married. The Justice card is a very serious major arcana card, right? This is, um, it could be a place where people get married. Justice could be the legal system, right? This is, uh, you know, when people get married, they sign a piece of paper, and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government. Justice could be that. And uh, the remaining two cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, are both commitment and marriage cards. Both of them are. The Ten of Pentacles is like a, the natural progression from the Ace of Pentacles, I guess. This is a card of rock-solid commitment to marriage. This is when people have money in the bank, they buy nice uh, property together, live together, right? have children together, if that is still an option for them. The Hierophant on the bottom of the deck would be a Taurus. You're young. But it is also a card of a commitment to marriage, just like the Ten of Pentacles. The, the Hierophant is like a very traditional card, right? Uh, something formal, official, very spiritual card, educational card. So yeah, things are about to get deeper, things are going to get more grounded, more serious, but uh, don't think it's going to become less fun, no. It's, it's just going to evolve, it's just going to progress, it's just going to, you know, keep on going towards what we have here on the table. All right, so yeah, I, I like this. It's like a journey, you know, it's like a journey and it will just keep on going. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much all I have. I don't think I have to add anything else. Uh, quite a few major arcana cards throughout the reading, right? Uh, we got three on, in this spread. One of them is the happiest card in the deck. All right, so I think you got it all with this person coming your way. Um, that's all I have for you, Aries, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing December.